welcome to another YouTube video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're going to try to remove satellite radio from the options here on the media options. So using this button right here in the middle, you can kind of go through the media here and click on you know, AM, FM, FM 1, 2, and 3, and then it goes into satellite radio and such. Well, I don't have satellite radio, so why am I going through satellite radio if I don't need it, right? So we're going to try to see if we can get past that. Okay. Um, there's plenty of options here. I don't know if it's going to stay in it here or if it'll remove it completely or if it'll be another option for me to access it. So we're going to see if we can figure this out and learn, see what we learn on it. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in the video is connect our ELM327 down to the OBD port right down here. Make sure it's on high. Then I always have the USB plug in. I'm gonna plug this into. Just gonna plug this into the side here. All right. All right. Now I want to make sure the truck is on. Not all the way on. Just on power on. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to go into force scan up here. All right, down here on the very bottom left, we're going to click on connect. Make sure it's on H and it is. Let it connect. It found our truck. We're going to click yes. Does your vehicle have the M? We're going to have yes. So we're going to switch this up now. And then hit OK. All right, looks like we're ready. Down here again, it says ready. So now we go into configurations. All right, so now we got to go into the APIM as built. This one right here. Down here on the bottom, we're going to click on play. And please set to H. So switch it back to H. Click OK. Read the warnings. OK, so because I've never done this before and I'm going to play with it some, I'm going to go ahead and save the setting before we mess with it. OK, so down here, save log. I'm sorry, right here, save all. So we're going to put this, make this stock. Stock B P I M. Right? All, all it does is saves all these exact settings here. Right, so they're saved now. So now we can go in here and mess with it. So I want to change and see if this works. We're trying to remove series. So I understand you have to reduce uh, the number by two on the very first digit. If you have an A, you make it an eight. Okay, we're going to click on right. Seven D zero zero one zero one, the very first digit. Yep, we look okay. So let's see what happens now. Looks like it's resetting sync. I'm saying to turn everything off and then back on so let's sync load and we'll see what happened
All right, so we'll take this few seconds to also remind you to subscribe and like my videos and suggest any other videos I should do. And thank you guys for suggesting some of the videos that I've been working on. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to help with whatever I do know. I'm not a pro at this. I do want to thank Forescan and Forescan.org and the forum for all the info they provide and all the guys that help with these uh, modifications here. So it looks like it's loading now. So let's see if it worked now that it's done. From the descriptions on the spreadsheet, it says this only works on Sync 3, but there it is. It's not on here anymore. Let's see what happens now when we still cycles right through them fm2 fm3 just skip the cd went to fx4 sd card well, let me go a little slower to make sure everything all right so from fm3 i'm gonna click let me do it over here so you can see click it once there's no CD, so it goes to my USB drive. Then I click it again. And it goes to the line because there's no nothing in SD card and there's nothing in the in the Bluetooth right now. Awesome, so I think it might have worked. So now, if you ever want Sirius back on, just remember to increase that very first digit right there by two. If it's an eight, you make it an A. Um, actually, don't take that word for word because some of these other letters and numbers might have changed. All right. All right, so now that everything took, all the changes took place, you want to go down here and just hit stop. Okay. Now that it's stopped, you want to go back to the car on top, and then down here on the bottom, hit disconnect. See, no, this is not connected. So now you can exit out. And you're all set to unplug. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Check out uh, some of these other videos I also have. And don't forget to like and subscribe.